Welcome back to Factorio MSX Gigabase. Um, I haven't played through a whole lot extra since last time, but I want to draw your attention to two things. First of all, let's have a look at uh, module production. Um, we are doing uh, 200 or 220 average, say, of efficiency module threes and speed module threes at the same time. Uh, which is basically 440 level 3 modules at the same time. Um, and apparently it doesn't actually need that much science, although, oh, sorry, circuits, although that will probably force this to kick off a little bit harder soon. Um, we are still doing our 12,000 a minute. Um... SpaceX Science, i.e. 12,000 red and green, but only 6,000 of whatever else we require. Which, for space casings, is blue and purple. Um, and, yeah, so that's a pretty impressive number. But given that for these... Um, what, are the, what is it that we're trying to build here? We're trying to build these guys, the dry dock assembly components... Um, given that we need 800 assembly robots per, and we need 50 of these, um, that's uh, 40,000 um, assembly robots need to be built. The assembly robots each need one efficiency module 3. So we need 40,000 of those efficiency modules in order to, um, in order to build all that we need for the dry dock assembly component. Uh, even running at 200 per minute, um, we're only up to... Um, I can't tell until you jump up um, a negative amount because... What? Why is that a negative amount? Oh, that's the twos. Um, the threes are up to about three and a half thousand. That's not bad, but it's a long way short of the 40,000 that we need. And these things are requesting the wrong stuff. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a while um, before we get... Um, that's a 3, isn't it? There's 144 sitting in that chest. 3,500, even at 200 a minute. Well, especially since minutes are sort of a little bit slower in our actual time um, than, you know, we would like. Now, the next thing is I've come back up to our robo-ports because, guys, math is hard. Um, here's something that makes no sense at all. So, we're feeding in uh, steel... Iron gear wheels and red circuits. And these are the iron gear wheels, stack inserters into here to f try and feed this at the rate that it can go. And actually, I didn't even put those on it, though do I really need all four? Probably not, because um, it needs four of each of these to be running at full capacity, not just three. Uh, and in fact, there's no way we can get four even if we had, um, even if, well, I mean, the only thing you could do is to use the red inserters, but they don't have the full stack inserter capacity, and two chests to a red inserter. doesn't have the full, it doesn't have the speed and capacity of a stack inserter, so there's no point. Uh, so this actually does not feed this as fast as it can run. But um, that's the least of our problems. So we need three um, of these for uh, the copper gear, oh sorry, not copper, the iron gear wheel, um, times 11, which is 33. We've built four, not 33, uh, and these aren't even running at the full capacity of a stack cons inserter. So uh, I think I made an error there. Um, we would need at least 33, and actually I think I worked it out to be sort of 44 or something, or even 49 that's needed, or 44 uh, if we had this running fully, and 49, um, in fact, because these don't produce as much as they need, something like that. Um, but then we have another problem, so each of these needs two. So if we had the 33, 
to supply these guys. Because um, if we do more than that, I'll need another row and try and squeeze it in here somehow, which is not going to be happy. Um, if we did 33, we could have three rows of 11 here. But we would then need um, 66 uh, iron inserting constantly. Now, uh, one of these, even if we have six stack inserters for a train unloading the iron, it is only 48, and we have to allow time for the train to pull in and to pull out. Uh, you can't do that. <laughs> you just cannot do that. It's not going to work. Um, so, we would need like three... So we'd get 48, 6 eighths of 48, but then you need to halve that really. So you've got, well, even uh, divide it by 3. So it's really 48 divided by, it's like 16. So to get to 66, you'd need 4, you'd need more than 4 dedicated lines of iron just so you can produce these uh, robo ports at some phenomenal rate for a short period of time to produce this component. None of that makes any sense whatsoever. I mean, that is the actual analysis if you tried to do this, but um, I am not going to do such a ludicrous thing. It just does not compute. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this up to 9, and um, I'm going to cut these down to 3, which means we will lose 4 of these off the end. One, two, three, four. Um, we probably need the uh, substation. Now, the the way I was calculating the numbers originally uh, was to go, well, okay, let's assume that the robots are going to be our... Um, bottleneck in the process and so let's produce robots at the maximum spe uh, speed that we can provide the um, electric engines but um, they're not an actual fact the bottleneck um, that's interesting so you've got all the engines you need. I don't know. I'm going off on a tangent. I know I do this a lot. So if you... Alright, well that's lovely. Um, but they're not going to be the bottleneck. Uh, these things would be, but we don't need to... Uh, I mean, we can we can pre-start building these things before we kick off the uh, the rest of it. The We just need to wait until we're not doing uh, purple science anymore. So this one's doing purple science. Um, we then do purple science here, but, um, you know, there are some things in here that, well, there's that one that doesn't use purple science, and there's that that doesn't use purple science. Um, that one actually is a pretty expensive one, the fusion reactor. Using both uh, military science, purple science, well, both, all of military purple and um, the um, high-tech science um, yeah that's but I mean we've pre-buffered the military so it's not I guess it's not that bad um, but we are going to do purple next so um, yeah I think cut down to three this one at nine it basically means um, well, happier days, I guess. That's really what it means. So, that is six. How come you guys... Oh, because... We were relying on this one to carry power, but that's not going to work. I wonder if I can use... Yeah, one of these might be better. Something like that. Um, uh, and 
you guys need to get power as well. Um, something like that should whoops should suffice. You can go down there. So uh, that's six. Eight and we're going to end up being slightly imbalanced. But that's okay. It's not as symmetrical as it should be. Oh, you can just go in there. Get you out of the way. So that's our revised edition of this thing. Um, it wasn't enough RoboPort building facilities anyway, uh, but we would have needed more uh, steel and more um, red circuits as well to support what we were trying to do. So we were just being silly. Let's just leave it at that. We were being silly. Um, the thing is, though, we can probably start these fairly soon. Um, a lot soon, and we'll need to start them soon. Uh, have them happen um, a long time prior to kicking off the rest. Now, um, I think that's the totality of my stupidity and uh, bad maths under YouTube brain. Um, let's come back up here and see what we actually need for flying robot frames. I just want to check if... Oh yeah, it's quite happy to take the uh, productivity modules, so we'll keep using them. Um, we need... Steel... I... I mean, normally I'd be looking for as few actual inserters as possible here. Um... What's the speed? 8. And they normally take 20 seconds. I mean, I guess we should still stick to our principles in terms of UPS efficiency um, and not use more of these than we need. Uh, so... it takes 20 seconds but we've sped it up eight fold it's like one steel plate every second and a half um, even the three is sort of one a second so one one inserter with a stack inserter But let's boost the numbers up to something a little bit more reasonable. That's one. That one is two. So let's get 200. That one is three. So let's get 300. That one is one. So let's get 100. Um... Fact. Let's just there is a small possibility of these things jamming. Well, that is not working quite as well as I would like. Um, what I need to do is get rid of blue inserters. Um, we'll work out what we need for the construction robot in a bit, but for the moment let's just get rid of all the blue inserters. 
Now. Uh, what have I done with our blueprint? That's the one. I should probably make a blueprint of... Um, like a bunch of these at once, just to save having to slap it down multiple times, but... Uh, can't be bothered. Because there really aren't that many. One little module. Uh, now, the... This guy here is half a second sped up insanely, needing two electronic units, uh, two electronic circuits. Um, so that's four electronic circuits per second. It's like 44 electronic circuits per second. So we need two stack inserters feeding it with electronic circuits and one feeding it flying robot frames. Okay, I think what that means is something like this. So you need to be electronic circuits and you need to be flying robot frames. And um, that is what we need. So. On the other side, let us first of all remove all the blue inserters and then let's take this pattern like so, turn it upside down And um, once we have run around this whole thing, it should all be done. There we go. Yep, very good. So that is to the flying robot frames. Actually, no, that's to the construction robots. So then we come over here to this little monstrosity. Um, flying ro oh, sorry, construction robots. So we want to make the assembly robots. Let's check our um, maths again. Although this is probably questionable since it was all done on YouTube brain. But uh, nine assembly robots and one component. One, two, three, four. Four. So maybe this one here gets to be. These probably won't work. The um, assembly component. Yeah, they don't work. We can speed it up though, for what it's worth. 50 seconds. It will be um, a lot less than that sped up. Um, and these guys are those crazy robots which don't let you put in productivity modules. Whoops, don't go there, go here. Um. No, that's not what we wanted at all. It's a problem when the modules are a um, that works um, a component. Like it, 
overly. I can't even remember what I did back there now, never mind. Um, fortunately there aren't that many of them. They only take 10 seconds to build, so they're not particularly long. Uh, right, so if you take 10 seconds to build, um, which is basically just under one second, um, I think I will use one inserter for the modules and one each for the other two things just because uh, you can be the modules hmm. um, you know what a blue inserter is probably fine modules um, that's not actually quite where I wanted that here we will use stack inserters It's a kind of silly number. Let's make it 200. And 200. So that's what we need for um, the assembly robots. Again, we need our remove blue inserters um, and then stamp down our solution. Now, the actual assembly guy, um, oh, it's an insane number of one, two, three, four, five parts. Okay. <laughs> Okay, reality check. Um, this is going to take about four seconds. Um, I don't think we can load it. With all that stuff, um, in four seconds, not even close. Um, I mean, let's look at 3,200 processing units. If a stack inserter can do sort of uh, 27 in a second, we get just over 100 um, with a huge number still to load. Uh, so it doesn't actually matter the fact that we've made these things massively faster. How many of these are we actually producing? So you are 10 seconds, you're sped up to 11, so uh, we've got 9. So it's basically 10. Um, we're doing, what are we doing? We're doing about 10, um, 10 a second, something like that. 
assembly robots, you need 800. So there's only 10 a second coming anyway. Um, a stack inserter can keep up with that. Uh, I think we'll still find that these others are the cause of slowdown. So I really should have expanded this and so I could have more inserters for the processing units and the low density structures and blah de blah never mind um, it is what it is alright so you can be <laughs> 5.4 thousand you're joking right we are not going to do those sorts of numbers you are going to be a hundred. Um, now, uh, let's processing. It may as well be the processing units. Oh, actually, these ones should be the really high volumes. What are the high volumes? It's processing units and solar panels. All right, so you can be processing units. Um, and it's not going to be that. It will be like three hundred and you can be the solar panels and that can be like 300 as well um, and you can be these guys at 200 and you can be these guys at uh, 100 50 even and that will have to do so yeah there's just no way we can load these things fast enough uh, never mind that's all part of the fun so what we should do now is get to a point where we could potentially start building the robo ports because uh, we're going to need about 8,000 of them which is about two and a half three eight threes full or about five two four twos and I'm thinking I might just do two four twos that might make a bit more sense um, so this can be robo port iron Um, Robo Port Steel, and Robo Port RC, the red circuits, uh, and I guess we will basically have. Uh, one, two, three, so... We'll have basically half the number of uh, inserters here as we have uh, for the iron. So that will be three of each. And if it's not enough, it's not enough. But given that we only have three of these guys now, uh, this will be 24, that will be 9. Um, it might work if we have a continuous flow of trains. We are... Yeah, we are unloading, aren't we? Four, six, 
six. Eight. Um, this is going to be in the way. So... Iron is going to have to unload to this side. Which is slightly unfortunate, but it is what it is. things or do I want um, because what's the rate of production here assuming we actually maxed out oh, these guys I can't take those but they can take those they're running at 11.25 Five seconds, so each one is producing two and a little bit per second. It's like six a second. It's really pretty easy to load that up. Um, I would like to... Uh, right. do something like this. Um, I'm going to have to move this to where I want it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's about where I want it. So a 242 with a single stack inserter uh, these are loading not unloading and you can request maybe something like that um, oh and this needs a little bit of power so I don't know why I keep putting my substations up there but I do Maybe something like that. That one just to cover here. Um, so these don't need power poles. I do then. I must have moved while I was applying them. Let's just get rid of that. Do it again. Ah, we need a, another substation at this end. There we go. Um, so, uh, this sort of stuff. Um, what 
Well, we do not need... <coughs> Actually, this is all far more complicated than we really need at all. Um, let me... Blue. Blue's not required, is it? It's red. Yeah, it's red. Um, this one was RoboPort Steel. Let's change these to Steel. Uh, steel's there. Steel. Um, Thirty-two thousand. I think there's only sixteen thousand in a steel train. All right. Um, we will need a train counter and a train publisher. Train counter. Train publisher. Um, we need. You probably need to move. Oh, space casings has finished, and that gave us a nice little boost in um, UPS for some reason. Okay, so I wanted to do the other purple one. It's only 192. We may as well. Let's get on with that. Um, right, let us get, uh, actually I'll use red. So, do you, yes, you read the train contents, there's nothing and nothing that comes over to here, we get P2, then P2 has to go to there, and then to there, and you are, if, um, trains on the way is less than P. So it's broadcast a request. Now where do I want to get the steel from is the question. From there and then there to here or from here first. I guess Big Bro Steel might make more sense. That's probably S rather than the steel. Yeah. S. Let's get it from S. Uh, there's a train on the way already. That's still rather unfortunately large. Um, okay, so you are RoboPort Red Circuits. Um, let me copy all of this stuff. Twice. Now, red circuits. Um, Thirty-two. Th Thousand is that what's on a red circuit train? Or is it sixty four? I can't remember. Uh, is that forty two? It must be sixty four thousand. I suppose I could set that to 64 then. Um, and we want one of them. And we want one of them. No, I didn't want you to fill out that just yet. Thanks. Um, we've got those bits. Uh, red circuit. Let's just use the red circuit. Ooh, 
We're getting a train. We're getting our first train to this area. A steel train. Uh, why is this guy flickering? Because uh, it's just on the cusp. So when they're in the when they're in the hands of the inserters, it thinks it needs another, and um, otherwise it doesn't. Yeah, interesting. Uh, this one is iron. Iron plate, iron plate, iron plate, I'm going to make that three. Um, let us get a train counter and a train publisher. Um, connect that up. Oh, you need to be connected. Uh, as do you. Um, and from here as well. Retrain contents. Dividing by 16. Is that what I wanted to do? I've got 32k from one train. Uh, no, I think I want to divide by 32. Because I want another steel train. There you go. Um, in which case, I guess we want to do the same with iron. Uh, now, we will need some bots in this region. Um, I'm not sure how many. Probably a decent number. Um, let's go and get about 300 or so. But we'll need more than that in total. Why don't I just order about 1,000 to cover this whole thing. fill me up with all sorts of junk that I might not need. Uh, bots. Bring me 1,000. Uh, there you go. And as you can see, that's being supplied to the supply train fairly quickly, and in fact the supply train's already on its way. Um, I don't want to start these while Purple Science is being used, so we won't start that one, although I could um, look to set up the train stops here properly and probably rename these properly. Um, Oh, there's another train on its way. Got a red circuit train on the way. And we have... No iron trains on the way. Apparently. Uh, let me just go and see what's going on there. So, you have no iron, so you should be outputting zero, so you've got a positive three. 
um, trains on the way. Do I actually have a train counter there? What's that? I think so. Oh, we haven't actually filled this in. Trains on the way is less than P. Um, then get me iron from... Maybe I'll do iron 5. Uh, that should be working. It is. We've got a train that's almost here. We're starting to get a large quantity of iron. What sort of train is it actually? Yeah, that's a red circuit train. Um, yeah, that's throwing everything into a loop. We're only doing 406,000 iron a minute at the moment. I'd expect some of those numbers to get a bit of a move on soon. Um, what are the one minute numbers? These have dropped a bit actually, and so have these. Oh, that's what I didn't want to have happen. Uh, by building this stuff and diverting stuff. I wonder what the problem is exactly. If we're not consuming at the maximum rate, that would tend to suggest that one of these stacks has gone silent. This one looks like it's silent. What's it missing? It's missing purple. Yeah, my purple um, is constantly suffering a little bit. Even though it is constantly producing at 6,000, or so it seems. Whenever I look, it's doing 6,000. It might be that it's better off if these two were actually separated, the two things that it needs. Um, the electric furnace and the electric engine, maybe they need to be separate platforms for a smoother input. Um, I doubt I'm going to fix it at this point. I can put up with occasionally dropping shy, I guess. Uh... I think it's speeding up again, maybe? It might need this to pull out. 14,000, do we have enough to get to 16? Probably. What's that? There you go, there's the electric engines that we were starting to get a little bit low on, but we also need the furnaces. Um, they're only halfway, halfway done, never mind. Um, we still have a lot of steel there, so steel is not an issue. There's the red getting unloaded. We have iron on the way, finally. Uh, it looks like it's coming off iron 1. Maybe I should have just asked for it from iron 1 anyway. Um, let's see if we have those um, robots yet. We must do. 700 because the rest of them are sitting in there. All right, let's go and grab, say, 300 robots. Um, now, with a bit of luck, by the time we get there, the iron train will have been, and we can kick off our RoboPort build. That should be in the zone. Just a few more. There we go. And I am appreciating having this path now. Well worth the investment.
Um, there's the iron being unloaded. Alright, let's see how this goes. If we have a look at five seconds, we should see... Uh, good, we're not using them all. We should see RoboPorts starting to be produced at a fairly silly rate fairly soon. Um, I don't think we've had a minute yet. It's bouncing around too much though. 43. Still climbing. 50 something. 60 per minute. It's kind of silly. <laughs> Uh, most of the things here are kind of silly, actually, but that's okay. That's why we do it, because it's fun being silly. Um, but we may have just about finished the blue modules, which is good. Green is going to go on for ages. We're now over 100 RoboPorts a minute. Um, but, guys, I think we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, it is probably going to be quite a while still before I kick off the other part of our... We're doing this science now, but there's quite a few of these that have purple. So I don't really want to kick off the construction robot part of the build until we've basically cleared all of these things. Well, well I've done that one. Um, one, two, three... So there's quite a lot of science to get through, so um, we are probably... Uh, not going to, um, you know, do the same here and kick off this part just yet. We need to pre-build this, but um, what I might do is tidy up station names, finish building these stations. Um, I'll probably put the train in uh, maybe next episode, but we'll be doing something else next episode. I'm sure it'll be good, though. Uh, can't wait. Looking forward to it, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye for now.